Alright, today I'm going to be doing a demonstration on how to set up your Proton particle board and connect to your wireless internet in your house to uh, do your current projects. So first what we're going to do is set up and reset your particle board. So using a USB connect that comes with the kit, plug it into the particle board and you'll see a slight flash. And you're going to hold the setup button for approximately three seconds. And once done, it'll flash a dark blue, meaning that it is ready for initial setup. Alright, after you sat there and put your photon board into setup mode, you'll open up your particle app on your phone, and it will sit there and display a screen for setting up your new photon. Once you go to the setup screen, it'll sit there and say, choose your photon, select it, and what it's going to do now is going to connect to the, uh, the photon board through the phone's wireless connection and it'll switch back and forth between the home Wi-Fi until it's established a good connection. Now what we're going to do is go to manual Wi-Fi network setup and after it locates one, simply select it, put in your home's Wi-Fi password and it'll take just a second to connect as it runs through a quick checklist. The light will turn green showing that it's going through the connection process and when it is completed it will turn a light blue color and hold it soft and it's going to be almost a breathing kind of color change. And we're going to be waiting for this last little bit to connect to the cloud. We will then do a very quick check to make sure that there's a proper connection by running through some simple uh, steps but first we need to actually name the board we're going to call this one Theodore and so after having your device it says that it is connected and the there's a small icon that's going to match the flashing blue light all right now that we have a proper connection between the app and the device you'll see that that blue light is still a, a lighter color and is flashing perfectly fine and so to make sure that we have a good connection between the app and the device of the internet we're just going to turn that D7 pin on which will glow a dark blue and you can continue to turn on and off just to prove that you have a good solid connection between the two devices and now that your product board or your photon board is set up you can now begin your various projects